Welcome, beloved. I want to talk about fasting and praying. Why do we fast? How should we fast? When should we fast? If we should fast. First thing, first thing about fast, you and God, first of all, get together, sit down, and you decide, you tell God that you want to fast. Whether one day, three days, 41 days, 100 days is up to you. You know your work schedule. You know your health medical condition and you know what you can really uh, handle. It's, this is not a competition. We have to compete with each other. That's number one. Number two, what type of fast? They got all kinds. They got dry fast. They have water fast, which is only dry fast. That means you don't eat nothing at all. And some people can do that for three days. I advise you don't do that more than three days. If you Depending on your, your medical health and your work history. If you have your job, like you're a nurse, you're on your feet 12, 10, 12 hours a day, it makes no sense to be fasting dry fast. It's absolute nonsense. It's no, There's no wisdom. But if you say you pray about it, God gave you the grace, we'll carry on. Uh -huh. I wasn't there when God told you. But I'm just giving you some suggestions. They got dry fast. They have something called water fast, which is you only drink water. I know Lou Ingo does that a lot. He will do like 40 days, just water fast. If you can handle it, you physically based on your job, physically based on your emotional mental and physical health run for it do three days 40 days it's up to you so that's dry fast there's water fast there's also the, something they call it liquid fast now the liquid fast is where you only drink liquid so that liquid could include tea herbal tea it can include coffee for those who are the coffee addict it would be good to break that uh coffee addiction during your time so maybe you can leave it but liquid fast that could include water that could include tea herbal tea that can include Juice, when I say juice, I don't mean Walmart store bought juice. I mean, you buy your fruits and vegetables, make your own juice at home with your juice machine. Or smoothie, you make your own smoothie with your vegetables and stuff. And then they have the 6 to 6 fast. What is 6 to 6 fast? That means you wake up 6 a.m., you eat something light, and you don't eat anything all day until 6 p.m. Then you sit and eat something, but try not to eat anything too heavy. The Africans don't eat no food, food and then you go to sleep. The Americans, the uh, big hamburgers, uh, spare ribs and fries and uh, two liter uh, soda, you, you be too heavy. Try to still keep the food light and clean as possible during those times. It's the, it's the, the purpose of the fast number one is to kill and sacrifice the flesh. So now we have figured what to do. Whether it's a dry fast, whether it's a water fast, whether it's a liquid fast, or the six to six fast, which is some people might call it the intermittent fast, where you just eat one meal a day. You can even reduce the portion of the meal. So we have talked about the types of fast. Put it down. The next thing, number two, we're going to focus. It's called prayer and fasting. Most Christians are on the hunger strike. They call it fasting. What do I mean? They will wake up in the morning. Maybe they'll pray for 20 minutes or 30 minutes, maybe one hour. And then the rest of the day, they will do whatever they want. They go to work, go to school. And then they come at 6 p.m. They sit down and eat something. They pray for 30 minutes. They say, I'm fasting. My friend, it's a hunger strike. It's not a fast. That's why it's called prayer and fasting. So if you're not eating for 12 hours, my friend, in those 12 hours, you should be praying. That's why it's good to set apart times when you're not working. However, if you have to work for whatever reason during your fast, then you do your best. For those of you who, who have the gift of praying in tongues, it's very, very useful. Like me, if I'm at work and I have to, I'm fasting. Thank God for the days of mass. That's the only time I really like mass. Because if the mass is on your mouth and you're praying in tongues under your breath, nobody can see your lips moving, so there's nothing you're talking to yourself. But even without a mass, I've trained myself now to pray in tongues in my spirit, under my breath, where I don't even have to move my lips. It's very powerful. Learn that. For those who, who have the gift of speaking in tongues, you too last that begin to pray in tongues under your breath or in your spirit while I'm moving your lips why you're still doing your job because you don't have the privilege to stay at home for 40 days if you're fasting or for seven days or for three days if you have if you have like saturday and sunday off it's good to start your fast friday at least friday morning you get to go to work start your fast then when you come home you continue and just pray so remember beloved it's called prayer and fasting don't pray one hour or 30 minutes in the morning 30 minutes at night the rest of the day you do whatever you want you say i'm fasting no it's a hunger strike are you with me so uh, you try your best to be in prayer throughout the time that you're not eating. Are you with me? Try your best. When you come home, that means also you should try your best to fast.
from every other activities that would that would distract you and take you away from that time that you should be in prayer, reading the word of God, uh, speaking in tongues, worshiping, uh, praising the Lord, just loving on Him, or meditating on the word of God, or just being silent in His presence. This get away with cell phone, internet, TV, cut those things off for those three days or seven days or 21 days or 14 days or 40 days. You pick the days. This is not a competition that we have to compete. Oh, you did 40. Oh, I did 50. It's not even that long because people can do 40, 50, 90 days fast and they come out, they are still the same. There's no changes. They didn't even get the answer they went for because the attitude was to post and break that they are the spiritual giant. They can fast for a longer time or they can fast. It is my fasting that did this. My friends, not your fasting, it's the blood of Jesus. Because if you are fasting, look at Bill Gates and them. Those guys are billionaires. How many fasting he did to get to become a billionaire? And you've been fasting all these years. You don't you're not even a thousand years. And forget about millionaires or billionaires. So let's start breaking about my fasting. Finish with that. So we have talked about the types of fast, the how to fast, the, the longevity of your fast. We have talked about that. Now, what are we fasting for? That's the meat of the rest of the message. Many Christians, myself included, in the past, but my eyes open today, and I just want to share this with you. Now, this is not going to be, this. I'm not, I'm not asking you to take this as a doctrine and run with it. You listen to the message, pray over it, and let the Spirit of the Lord lead and guide you what to do with it. Part of the message may apply to you, other parts may not. The one that apply to you, take it and run with it. The one that doesn't apply to you or resonate with you, Drop it, keep it moving. Don't need to start a religious, spiritual war in disagreement. I'm done with that. I don't, I don't argue a debate anymore. I say, let the Spirit of God lead you. If the message I'm saying it doesn't apply to you, it's not for you. Because I'm sent to feed the sheep, not to argue, entertain goats. Hello, somebody. Now, let me get back. Now, what are we fasting for? In the past, I said myself included, I will fast for all kinds of things. Husband, wife, dog, cat, money, business, this. House cars. I'm not saying those are bad things, but I've come to realize that the one who can give you all those things, if you are fast and focus is on Him, those things will follow. And we quote that scripture that seek ye first His kingdom. So why don't we begin to take fast on our nature, our characteristics, and our attributes that God finds offensive? Unless, of course, you believe you are perfectly, you are perfect where you are. There's no flaw in your character. Then bless you. Then keep fasting for your husband or whatever it is. But me, my focus right now is to take a fast. What do you take a three days fast, seven days fast, 14, 21 days, whatever my fast is. Number one, study the Beatitudes. Number two, study the fruits of the Spirit. Number three, study the seven spirits of God. Write them down and go to warfare and fast until you become them in bodily what are the seven spirits of god what are the fruits of the spirits what are the be attitudes what are those the fruits of the spirit but we are praying for the gifts instead of the fruits when he said you shall know them by their fruits not by their gift christians are praying for spiritual gifts i want power i want anointing sometimes the reason why god may not have answered some of our prayers and giving us power and anointing because our character is not correct and when he trusts us with the power and anointing we might use the power and anointing to destroy ourselves and destroy others because what our character is not correct our heart is not correct. Our motives and our desires are not correct. So why don't you, why don't you, beloved, get alone by yourself, you and God, and be brutally and sincerely honest with yourself and check out all your character flaws. And go to fast until those character flaws are brought down under the control and the subjection of the Spirit of God until Holy Ghost himself begin to transform his nature in you. Now you become Christ-like in bodily. Why don't you be honest? Is it gossiping? Is it anger? Is it pride? Is it jealousy? Is it competitiveness? All this competition between Christians. What are those? The Bible, the Bible even called it little foxes. Why don't you fast until those little foxes in you are dead? Come on, beloved. How often do we hear churches taking a fast to deal with the character flaws in the souls of the, of the beloved, of the saints. How often you hear a Christian say, I'm taking a fast, and you ask them, what? Well, oh, I'm fasting for a husband, I'm fasting for my mother, I'm fasting. I'm not saying those so bad. Please don't get me wrong. I was there, we have all fasted. But how often do we hear Christians say, I'm taking a fast? So what, I'm, what are you fasting for? I'm fasting for these three days until the spirit of gossiping is out of me. Have you ever heard that? I'm here to challenge and provoke you. I'm here to challenge and provoke myself. How often you hear Christian go, I'm fasting. What are you fasting? I'm fasting until jealousy is dealt with in my soul. 
Have you heard Christian taking fast like that? Well, that day in last the problem. That's why we have not mature. That's why what God has not entrusted us with the power of the ages to come. Because our character right now is a stench to his nostril. If we are honest with ourselves, at least I'm confessing before you. You don't agree? No problem. Keep it moving. But beloved, let's get back to why can't we be honest? We want power, we want power. But is your character correct? Are you still struggling with anger? Why don't you go on a fast until God deals with that anger in your soul? Are you struggling with bitterness and unforgiveness? Why don't you take a fast until that bitterness and anger no longer has a hope in your soul?